light this shit up What's up? Another edition of High Rolling. With Hell on Wheels. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Man, today we are checking out my man Lord Bastabon's channel while we're chilling. Yeah. Uh, we're going to kick it off with the American Boy Tries Asian Snacks. Hey, hey, uh, Esto, man. Some of the cats on YouTube said you're just getting a little thick, homie, a little thicky thing. And then you're going to show all these snacks on the YouTube video at that, too? You know what I'm saying, man? I don't know, Esto, but I'll, I'll see you tomorrow at the gym there. And we, we can talk about it. Um, but definitely shout out guys. Hopefully, um, some of you guys will see this video for tomorrow. We're going to try to make it back down to Harrisonburg, uh, get some CrossFit training in with, with the guys from, uh, Street Beast, man. It was, uh, it was a good change up for us as far as training, just doing something different, different group of guys to train with. I really enjoyed it. So, uh, shout out to, uh, Face, uh, Esto and, uh, the Iraqi Assassin for having us down there, man. We appreciate that. Yes, sir. We're hoping to see him again tomorrow too, so. It's going to be a long day. Yeah, bet. We definitely got preparations for uh, December 5th, man. If, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Challenge here will be matched up against uh, Reckless Rico. Um, he's got to lose a little bit of weight um, to, to make it fair with my man Rico. Um, and it's pretty easy so far. I, I'm not stressing myself over it. <laughs> nah, just shedding while I go to sleep, pretty much. Nah, I mean, I understand, folks, that this guy has a diet of a seven. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm acting like his dad all the time. Like, yeah, he's only really drinking soda. No, carbs, carbs, this, the carbs. I was like, man, look, I like my steak and cheese subs. I like my soda pop. I, I can't get enough of pizza. Can't get enough of my candy, gummy bears, anything like that. But, uh, yeah, he's been keeping me together, so I've been on a little. Man, and, and that, that, that twitches me, right? Because you're on <laughs> Facebook now, and all these pictures are popping up from a year oh, ago. And that's where we really started to lose the weight. And I've had people ask, like, how'd you lose it that quick? <laughs> uh, so I did want to touch and give you guys that story of how I did lose that so quick, right? So it was about this time last year when Don Hugh Fields had reached out to uh, Challenge 9 and had asked if uh, we could get to 190 pounds for an upcoming event. And I went to coach, and I, I think I was around like 235, 236. <laughs> And I say, man, this dude wants us to cut to 190. And uh, and Dan, Dan, he uh, he never does this, but he kind of he kind of gave me some motivation. He's kind of doubted me. He said, Brandon, man, this is a lot, man. Can we maybe get him to be around like 205 to 10? Mm. And uh, and that really challenged me. So I kicked it off with like the military diet, which is about the worst way to possibly yeah. do it. But you'll lose 10 pounds in three days military diet. So worst three days of your life. Then you're doing colon cleanse, and you're going to lose about 8 to 10 pounds. And that's going to be a pretty crappy, and I mean literally crappy day. Um, but, man, once we hit the 190, that, that event got canceled. Everything got canceled due to COVID, the CWBA deal, everything. But yeah, I was like. stop at 190, though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well so my, my point of not stopping, guys, is I ain't going to get beat up anymore. Like, when you're the chubby guy with limited skills, you can beat up a lot in that gym. Dude. And, I'm not, and I'm not saying that they're rough with us in neutral corner, guys. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying, like, my athleticism and my skill were both at the low point. Yeah, he didn't have a full range of motion when he was at the weight that he was at. At the certain point, my man couldn't even put his elbows together. Yeah, now nah, he can touch them together. So slimming down really helped his frame to actually better his guard and everything. So he's like, the more weight he lost, the better he can be flexible while fighting. Hey, right, absolutely. And you know, now now I'm kind of starting to to define that and work on specific sections. But guys, I'm eating back at kind of a normal thing. And, and we were having conversation, Keenan and I, and I think Ashley. What, what I, the point I want to get across here, you look at look at the bag of chips or any of the snacks here that Esto is going to eat in his video. <laughs> today, right? But look at the serving size on the back. Oh, um, yeah, the uh, serving size. Americans like overeat. We all do, right? So that serving size will say like, you'll look at it and be like, oh, it's only 100 calories. But it'll be three servings and you'll eat the whole container. They put the smaller serving size on there with the lower calories to trick you into thinking that it's a more healthy alternative. Um, so please make sure that you... Uh, <laughs> Check this. Yeah, that, that's your <laughs> own to that, guys. Because, look, it's the holiday season for one, right? So there's all these baked goods, all that stuff going on, right? So you got that stuff going on here at the holidays. Right, let's see if I can do this right. And then, 
you know, we got this COVID lockdown coming again. So you're going to have some folks that are, that are, that are going to be home a little bit more. And a lot of times when you're home, folks, you're bored. And because you're bored, you can go and you eat something, man. Um, rack out 25 push-ups and see what that does for you. Make sure you, you get motivated. You're going to yeah. give it a little, give it a little sound. We got to hear what this man's saying. Man. So, I mean, so, so look, we're going to give it a little bit of sound here, but it's going to muffle okay, our much, sound. But here we go. Much is, oh. Snacks and drinks. We're just going to test them out. I'm going to let y'all know True. my opinion. My uh, fellow brothers and sisters uh, in Asian countries, I hope I don't disrespect you too much in these videos, but everything looks yeah, good. Right, the only thing right there. We just got to hear it. Okay, so he wants to put the TV playing in the background with the phone recording YouTube in front of the TV. Right, so so make sure you nobody's follow. gonna hear this. Make sure you follow Best B. Oh, Lord Best Bob, man. It's my man, it's Lord Best Bob. Y'all already know I'm it's Lord Best Bob. He be chill, he be chilling with time on wheels. Okay, Lord Best Bob be chilling with time on wheels. Let's see. The packaging was just so like. Sensation. Potato chips. This actually says. Uh, what? Uh, chips and potatoes. No, it doesn't. Oh, it does. 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 It Welcome. So guys, next time you're high rolling, man, make sure you check out Esto and the snacks. I'm getting hungry over here. Uh, man, you know how long it's been since fans came out with something new? Yeah, like a yeah, that is kind of, that is kind of a vintage show, Terry. That man's got going on. Um, I'm glad we can motivate you to keep you. Yeah, see, got you, demon. You gotta keep your history, Demon. You'll be all right. He's not talking to Demon Monsoon there on the on the We're Instagram alive. feed that we're, we're always on over Hot Romans Hell and Wheels, guys. So feel free to get on challenges Instagram, man. That's challenge accepted. Underscore 2020. Underscore 2020. Best vision to have. No, that's right. Hey, guys, in 2020, man, it's going to be coming to a close soon. Remember, man, 2020 is a lot like a big map. Sometimes you go through the drive through and that thing is perfect. And it looks just like the picture. Sometimes and then forget a patty or two. Other it times, man, it looks like they months. grabbed it and they shook it and the lettuce is everywhere and a bit the Big Mac is a hot mess. But let's just be thankful that we still have a Big Mac, guys. Is that like pickles? I think it's some kind of I don't know. It's okay. a box. Come on, Esto. Still, it's a box, Esto. I can get pizza rolls in a box, Esto. This guy. This guy. Something else. You, you would think he would he, he would want to talk about it. Come fight now. This dude want to talk about it. Too. <laughs> it's snacks, man. Last guy got seven. Chew and swallow. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I hope you got chew and swallow. I mean, that's how you eat stuff. You know what? If it takes you that long to make a reaction, you either, don't got to taste it. You don't like it, boss. Yeah, it ain't that good. No, it ain't good. <laughs> it ain't good. So, hey, for those of you that, that did not know, um, we got made aware today in the gym by uh, Luis that uh, one of uh, Canela's fan pages uh, shared uh, a clip of uh, Mr. Mud and Helen Wheels for Stick and Move Monday. Um, and they led this post with a lot of motivational things, man. So it's gotten a lot of positive feedback. It was already at like 60,000 some views, man. So that's legit. Let's that um, like go. So make sure you jump over to my Facebook there and check that out. I'm going to share it up on my Instagram if possible. Uh, try to get as many vote, uh, views on it as possible. It's all about this positive vibes, man. Um, and we've been out doing street beats for a little bit. I mean, not a lot, but a little bit. By the way, the back, back of that bottle said 230 calories per serve. Whatever that is, I guarantee you that sugar is crap. <laughs> um, but hey, man, make sure you check out. Look, let me say, can't read it. It's in Japanese, also. I mean, numbers aren't in Japanese. But uh, got some from the West Coast, House of Vargas. 
Okay. What's good? What's good? Um, so man, definitely if you get, I had some good fights also. Wait, I don't want to interrupt you, man. I saw some great fights y'all had. Wow. I still got to watch the big dog. You want to play on the West Coast? Yo, I'm look, doing some good work over there. Yeah, legit. Doing it. Yeah, legit. The big boy fight. The big boy oh, fight. Man, I'll pull man, it out. Shagami. Yeah. Shagami against that young cat, man. Um, I, the, his name forgets me right now, but that young cat. Go check oh, that man. fight out, man. Uh, the big dudes. Um, we'll for, check out. for one, much respect to him, man. He showed great skill, great respect in the ring. But that was a phenomenal fight. It was a phenomenal fight. He went Who back and forth. Saturday? Some, uh, some big, big, uh, big, big shots landed in that one. And then the Canadian man, boy, did that young man show some skill. Now, for those of you that clown on, on Scarface, go and watch the Canadian on the West Coast. And then go and watch his fight against Scarface. And he said he fights Street Bender. Yeah, Street Bender. I mean, yes, yeah, it was Shaw Gummy versus Street Bender. Oh, yeah. That was a banger. Straight up banger. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Oh, it was okay, a great you. fight. Street Bender was the kid's name. I believe the kid was like, I think he was even like 0 and 0, or maybe he was only 2 and 0. No, he was, he was 0 and 0. But, uh, y'all, they get, need to give him a fight, though. Like, yo, get that kid back. Out. He just took your best dude to the, to, to the max, man. I mean, y'all declared it a draw. But, uh, big ups to that young man, man. Uh, kid had a chin, man. Great fight. But back to the Canadian dude. He, he, had, he absolutely showed a skill set in his fight. He showed a skill set against the uh, young man. And that was a great. Yeah, fight. that's what I thought. I was like, I, I didn't see. Yeah, so you de Canadian. you definitely had Street Beast yeah. West Coast uh, popping yeah. off over the weekend. So for those of you that haven't uh, checked out the guys at Street Beast West Coast with uh, Martin Rubio, those guys oh, are doing yes, some legit agree. things. Yeah, it definitely was awesome. You go ahead. Keep going. Uh, hey, Martin, man, send your man Helen Wheels West Coast shirt, dog. I yeah, we definitely need some West Coast. Shirt. We need some West Coast shirts, man. I can pop that with a yellow bandana. You know, mix it up for you a little bit. I'm just trying to look pretty for you. Um, if there wasn't too much controversy, I mean, I, I would love, love to come over and just either. I, I would like to just spectate, to be honest with you. I don't want to just go over there and fight. I don't want to challenge you. I want to, I want to spectate and maybe spar with a couple guys. Yeah, well, if anybody on the West Coast, Rubio, right, or up there pound for pound or scrap yard, anybody's got a wheelchair battle. Y'all all right now, it's challenge accepted. Yeah. Let's get that money and what we're coming. So, for any of the guys, Fire Chicken, Corn Flake, um, or Martin running y'all's branches, if you got a wheelchair battle, man, I'm down for it. We can throw Ooh, three wheelchairs and a couple double bags and a Honda, and we can go anywhere we need to go. Um, we're always ready. We're always ready. Speaking of which, I still yet to have an opponent for the December 19th pay-per-view. Um, those guys are... Uh, those guys are excited to have Helen Wheels out there. They they love the message. They want to have me out there, but they want to have another adaptive boxer, and that means wheelchair boxer come out. Now, guys, this could be a licensed fight for us to be the first one to stay at West Virginia. It's on pay per view. It would break a lot of barriers for wheelchair boxing adaptive boxing. I know there's people that throw shade on what to do, man, and I can speak to that in another video. I can tell you exactly why I do what I do. But let's just take a look at every time I've had the spotlight, I've helped give it to somebody else. You know, you look at Jesse with his fundraise, and then you look at shouting out Demon on uh, Rough and Rowdy, where they didn't want him. Now they want to know what going Jesse means. You feel me? So I've always been trying to look out for somebody else. Anything I've done has never been for me. But I need an opponent. Understand, I need an opponent. I weigh roughly about 160 pounds right now. Um, I can go up. I can go down, man. I can do anything anybody needs to do. To make it as fair fight as possible. Um, <laughs> it said I was 163. I have my hat on, my glasses, my hoodie, my pants, my socks. I okay. I might lie like that, though. You know, I ain't. No, I'm man. the most honest person y'all ever meet. But look, <laughs> no, I, I, need I need an opponent. So, I, like I said in my intro to the last story, so I don't want a bunch of click clack internet nonsense. Because people sure. do that, man. They want to be like, I break helmets and jaw. This is a blood sport. They don't do nothing for the sport. Because those right. people are upset that like TV get a lot of views. Like and when you Google wheelchair boxing, you happen to see bio <laughs> Um, You know, but thank you for Scarface and the guys who are doing that. It look like it, but I think it's a smoothie, homie. Um, yeah, you know. But we need a matchup, man. Um, please reach out to uh, myself, the folks at Neutral Corner, Demon Boys Boxing. Um, House says you're an inspiration. Who said that? House, House Vargas. 
I'm not sure. Uh, oh, oh, and I. I'm not. Hey, hey, man. If I helped you in any way, shape, or form, that, that's, a, that's a blessing, man. I appreciate the shout out. Please follow our YouTube channel, man. We're recording the video as we speak. Um, hey, and by the way, guys, I'm thinking about a wardrobe change for you, man. Hell on wheels. I went all pink last week, and even though my man uh, Big Smile smacked me around, um, I kind of digged it, man. What y'all think of the all pink? Thank you, Fit Witch. Thank you. That's uh, uh, the Fit Witch is uh, uh, Dirt to Dirt's uh, wife. Oh, okay. Uh, Cassandra, what's cracking? Is this man eating seaweed chips? It's like I ordered some kind of no, beer. it's seaweed chips. Ooh, yeah, that's dope. Uh, but definitely, I need that, guys. I need no. that fight for the 19th. We did hear no. that uh, yes. One Wheelchair Boxing Association is looking to open back up um, April, April and March. See, man, Hell Wheels put his Thank you, that, that Hey, that would be great. Um, right if off, we could do that, right off the drop. The West Coast. That'd be awesome. We definitely look for a fight from the West Coast. Right I, mean, I don't know how we'd uh, bring him oh, over, no, or uh, we'll talk to Face and figure out something about that. But yeah, well, again, uh, he's talking wheelchair out of West Coast. Yes. Guys, I will find my way. Any of that, guys? I got a phone call mid YouTube video recording. I really apologize for that. I should have put myself on Do Not Disturb. I'm normally not that popular of a guy, I promise. Nobody really talks to me. So, anyway, yeah, we're talking Shrewby's West Coast. Um, hey, whether it's fire chicken, whether it's my man Martin, or if it's my man Cornflake, if it's a wheelchair battle, dude, we'll, we'll find a way to mix it up. Hey, if it's a guy that wants to, you know, throw, throw hands, we, we can get that. If it's a, a young man or young individual that's just looking for a matchup and to experience flight, just let me know, man. I'm all about making that dream come true for somebody. You feel me? So, uh, Jesse Johnson here. If he always let me know, um, because I'm always down to bang, uh, no doubt about that, anytime. Um, it is what it is. You know, I'm going to keep training. I need an opponent for December 5th at Street Beefs. And again, December 19th, I'm trying to get on that pay-per-view. Um, it does look like my opponent for the next rough and rowdy that he has accepted. So it does look like Team Challenge accepted will get another opportunity on rough and rowdy um, at their next event, which uh, we haven't gotten any, uh, any notification that uh, of when that would be. But we're going to be ready either way, guys, to uh, – that because I'm, I'm really looking forward to going back to Rowdy. Now I know what I'm walking in, rolling into. <laughs> you see, I caught that. I think but, back to them every time. But I know what I'm rolling into. Um, you know, that one tells some jokes. That one, they want to clown a little bit. Hell and Wheels got a few things planned for the next time he comes back there because now I know what they do with what I say. They try to turn it and make it a joke. So I'm just going to clown them straight off the drop. And y'all already know Hell and Wheels is a stunning dude. So I'm really looking forward to it. Plus, the, the gentleman I'm fighting, uh, the gentleman I'm looking to fight there, I've had some communication with him on the web. Uh, Philip, I mean, he's a straight hippie. And what y'all know about Ellen Wills is Ellen Wills is a straight hippie. You know what I mean? Ellen Wills is just a hippie with a country accent. You know what I'm saying? Um, country accent with a black friend. No, I'm not fully black. I'm half white. See, he keeps trying to, he, no, I'm sorry. He keeps trying to lock himself in there with you. I'm trying to blame him. I'm sorry. Yeah, I really apologize for that. But uh, we're definitely looking forward to that. Um, with, with my man Challenge, he's got he's got Reckless Rico on the dock. Um, look, Reckless Rico's a skilled dude, and he's a popular guy when it comes to street beats. Very popular guy when it comes to street beats. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's also a contradiction of style. Um, it's a contradiction in body type. This is like um, so, so, so I'm looking forward to it. Hey, you guys can uh, – I understand people have been doing some polls. Or who they think would win that. Um, so personally, I appreciate you guys doing the polls because uh, you know a lot of fights were won on the internet, and I remember that one. Yeah. Uh, but, but you know the dude that ain't chirping is Rico because he's a respectful uh, fighter and he understands. He's got to get the cage so you know, hey, I appreciate the fans want to talk it up, but uh, man, I think y'all are doubting the wrong cat. Man, I think it's going to be a really, really good fight. Um, but you know that's 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 why we fight the fight. But I, I'm looking forward to December fifth, like nobody's business. I mean, if anything, I, if it doesn't go to distance, there, there might be an early submission. But I, just to go back, I haven't really tapped. And I've been in some, some situations with uh, other decent grapplers. <clears throat> uh, there's um, the Slaw. We did a jiu-jitsu tournament. Well, not a jiu-jitsu tournament, but we did a jiu-jitsu match uh, at a street beefs event. Um, I went all three rounds with him gra well, grappling. Uh, I didn't show no weakness. Uh, he, he, we didn't even get a submission attempt then because I didn't even know how to do a few submissions. But I, I knew 
what to stay away from. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and then I followed the Druid, and I don't know what belt class he was, but he put in three, he, he transitioned from three different submissions, and I fought out of every single one of them. I mean, some people, I, I'm getting a comment, but I don't know if I should take it like, as a good comment or whatever, but they're saying like, oh, you got the body, yes. oh, here you go. You got the, you're like the type, the Red Reaper type, but more experience. I mean, yeah, I'll take the more experience. But, uh, you know, and man, that Red Reaper, that Red Reaper scrap. Let's not act like that was not a really good fight. Um, it was obviously, very controversial. Obviously, I mean. yeah, like I said, there's controversy over it. But I, I'm gonna tell you that was still a good fight. Um, and the thing I like about Rico, man, and, and his and his brother, um, you know, they're, they're always humble, man. They don't, they don't, they don't talk a bunch of mess. See, um, I, I, see I only wrestle. I haven't had no jujitsu training whatsoever. Hey, shout out, Big Daddy ago. Williams, baby! I'm yeah, kicking, I'm kicking your fight here. Uh, yeah. I'm kicking your fight here on the TV back there. Uh, hey, Sparkman, what's up? I, Sparkman? I don't. Hey, Sparkman, you called me in the middle of my YouTube recording, bro. So now I'm about to splice a video. Now we got a beef fight, bro. Now we got a beef fight. I, I don't like to edit. I'm horrible at it, guys. I'm horrible yeah. at it. So now I'm about to piece Sparkman up for that, bro. Nah, shout out Jesse Sparkman. Always shout out Jesse Sparkman. I can everything movement, guys. Yeah, more technically. Check out our thing. fight on YouTube. His link to sponsor him, his sports chair is in the description of the video. Please bless my man, Jesse. Uh, he's been a true teammate for Keenan and I, man. Um, we're still waiting for those. Uh, we're still waiting for those. I can everything shirts. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. With we the gold <laughs> bandana. We didn't even get. I can I pimp that, shirt. dog. I can pimp that. So hey, Mr. Spartan, man, get on that for me. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Elmore. Um, yo, he's uh, he's back training, getting ready to prep for his title shot. Um, dude, we'll have a fight party here at the house for you for that one, bro. We'll be pulling for you. I uh, thank you for how you've supported adaptive boxing on the on the legit, bro. I felt like he fought him uh, before. Oh, I think Coyote fought. And I look for you on the come up, dude. On the real man, I look for you on the come up. I hope you watch my vids. How much do you weigh, House? Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Street Beast West Coast. We got Big Daddy. I didn't catch the opponent's uh, name. I wasn't paying attention. Coyote. Coyote. Here we go. Here we go. So we got we got that going. Street Beast West Coast, man. I dig the cage, guys. I do. I dig the cage design. Um, it's small. It makes you fight. Um, I dig it. It, it. it doesn't seem to interfere with uh, one fifty five with, with with any of the matchups. Oh, um, you start with big guys. That's good. That's good. You, you, you real? You know, you, you, you got kind of that that, like that. That, uh, that that sand pit there. Um, I haven't even seen an issue with your MMA with the sand, so so I dig dig what you're doing out there, man. Um, and I think what you guys got going on is uh, oh, this is all right. This is a rematch. I knew it. I knew it. And he already fought him before, so this is a rematch because he threw up. I think this one, like well, not this one, but he fought this guy before and he got punched in the stomach and threw up. And he just, ooh, he just yeah. ate two double hooks. Is what he just, oh, goodness. Man, you better stop dropping the head. He's looking for that left up. You see it? Yeah. Man, and that's amazing to me. Me and Leonidas were talking this week. Man, shout out King Leonidas. I know he don't, he don't get on the internet. Um, he had a pretty impressive uh, debut, in my opinion. Uh, I thought he won the fight 10-8, all three rounds. Um, they, they scored him the victory. It was a, it was a victory for him. Yes. Um, I was about that. It was awesome. Shout out King Leo for that. But Leo and I, out. Leo and I were working into the gym this week, and the things we was working on compared to what we were working on, you know, a while ago, um, it just shows the advancement. And a lot of you guys don't know how much of a leader King Leo is in the gym. Just because he's quiet and he's not on social media, that means he ain't there helping guys, man. So, uh, you know, we look forward to seeing King Leo continue to uh, to, to wreck the 147 division. Too. Uh, up there in Parkersburg, man, we uh, we look forward to it. We support him like uh, very, like we, he's very respected in the gym, and we we sit back and we spar with him. He, I saw that, and um, he'll as he's teaching us, he's learning too, and he tells us that all the time. He's like, I'm learning stuff just by sitting here with him. It's a big family thing in there, and just for one of us to go already, and then we're able to keep pushing him. I, I feel like that's a big deal. Like he he still works with us. He doesn't see that he's a higher status than anybody else since he done moved up to the bigger leagues. Now he's still down here with us. Well, you know, like, he made a valid point to me. He's like, so Brandon, man, when you're in here and you got to work with somebody lower skilled, pick something defensively you won't work on, and work on that. Whether it be you know answering the telephone, slips, 
work on that so you let them have some success. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, that that's that's really part of being a good teammate in, in the gym is, is, is finding a way to work with everybody in the gym so that you can continue to learn and grow and, and they can continue to learn and grow. So, you know, if you're in a gym where that doesn't happen, uh, you know, maybe you should. Ooh, 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 oh, my. Yo, this dude, this dude Coyote, bro, is throwing bricks, dog. Uh, hey, coyote versus Big Daddy, much, man. How much does Coyote weigh? God, boy, he dropped his tail. Oh. so devastating. Uh, so, how much does how, uh, Coyote weigh? Because I know Big Daddy at least weighs 180. Man, that old boy just, uh, man, he just smacked him a little bit. Man. Hey, I got some respect Ooh. for Coyote. I, I think he's been doing it for a little bit. Yo, but but that, little bit. Hey, Big Daddy, man, he took them blows and he, he stood there fighting. He shows up in the yard. Of course, we didn't have the audio, so I'm going to go back and watch that with the audio. Um, I, it was because man said, okay. Yeah, well, man, he listen, challenge, if the two audios are going, the audio think I'm going to hear it. <laughs> and what he doesn't understand is my phone's crap. So I have to go through oh, it. I'm not having no problems with the people. I go Instagram through and edit the we'll audio every, every time I edit. And now I already had to edit the uh, video. Hey, he's it. actually there. Coyote, man. Like, I know if you're listening, boss. That was. Oof. I, I don't know how long you've been boxing, but I'll tell you this. I'd be the type to box you and stay with my jab. Because <laughs> there's uh, there's just no way. You're on him like white on rice. Shit on, I mean, a fly on shit. Like, I, dude, oof. I mean, Big Daddy Williams is tough. So, I mean, the first time y'all went third round, I think. You put the hurt on my bro. I couldn't. Uh, oh, shit, man. You hit him enough, you got through there. <laughs> but now nah, that. That's um that's really good work on your part. Your I saw that does really technical work in your doubles. You're definitely catching them on the doubles. I, I didn't see this one, but I definitely watched the baby hawk versus the Turk fight. I didn't watch yeah, the baby hawk. I, I, the I just uh it's about time to wrap up the show. We're hitting the twenty five minute mark, but uh, right now we got sensation and uh and baby hawk on the TV in the background. I've already watched this fight, it was a, a really, really good fight. Uh, please make sure you go check that out and uh, support support those two sensation man. You, you always come in the uh, the yard. You're very humble. Uh, you got a good skill set on you, young man. Keep on keep on thriving, baby. Yes, sir. What I would always preach is always come back. <laughs> it's not this not this isn't amateur. This isn't pro. This is a gathering, a barbecue, whatever y'all want to call it. Our friends, where we just get together and spar. Very very heavy spar. Right, absolutely. Um, and man, Baby Hawk's a monster, dude. He's a five-foot monster. Um, Baby Hawk, wheelchair battle. You heard it. Sunshine, tag it. Baby Hawk, they say you don't throw hands, you just wrestle. Sit down, me and you, throwing hands three minutes. You a big, big, strong boy. That's probably going to hurt, and I'm going to wish I didn't say that. But I got respect for this Baby Hawk, dude. Um, he's humble as all get out. Strong as an ox, man. I mean, legit strong as an ox. He understands how to use his height to his advantage as opposed to his disadvantage. Um, his message of chasing his dreams, man. Trust me, that resonates with Hell on Wheels, man. Um, trying to break through some of my barriers I want to get through in the sport that I'm trying to do it in. So, so legit, I respect the man. Um, and uh, you've seen what, it, what he's done in the yard. And he took on two high-level guys in the same day. Kirk is a friggin' savage, bro. And Turk called him with two different three pieces. Mm -hmm. Two different three pieces. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if any of y'all have taken a punch from Turk. I personally have not. Nor do I want that smoke. I will put yeah. that out there. I don't want that smoke. Turk's offered to give me that smoke, and I just, I'm worried about my asthma. Okay? <laughs> um, I've seen Turk in the gym. And, I, man, I've heard him smack some dudes. The dude can straight throw leather. Uh, he's just... Freakishly good athlete. I am a very well rounded athlete as well. Um, and Turk did give Baby Hawk some problems. Um, you know, but Baby Hawk took the fight where Baby Hawk likes to take his fights. Ground. And the dude is just, he's just strong and he's patient. And Baby Hawk's got a fight IQ. Look at him in the last 10 seconds. He'll pick it back up. You know, look at how he closes his rounds. Look at how he opens his rounds and immediately closes the distance. That's where I thought Turk did great. Turk tried to close the distance on him and change him up. But look, see, I mean, you watch him right here. And he immediately takes the center of the octagon. Immediately takes it. So he doesn't cut the octagon in half. Um, you know, again, wheelchair battle. We're already sitting in the middle of the octagon, bro. 
Um, but on the real, guys, we're going to jump off here. It's always good chilling with you guys. Um, now it's dark at night. I, I roll my home wheels in early. I got to get my old ass to bed. Um, but as always, guys, y'all already know, let's get that Monday. Monday.